Hi, this is Evan from WCCF Tech, and let's check out some of the exciting announcements coming from CES this year. AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel all hosted their CES 2022 conferences, unveiling several next-generation CPU and GPU technologies, so here we are to give you a full recap of everything that happened during each respective live show. AMD was the first to kick off its CES 2022 keynote with CEO Dr. Lisa Su presenting a host of products from Team Ryzen and Team Radeon. First, we have to talk about the latest Ryzen 6000 Rembrandt APUs powered by the 6 nanometer Zen 3 Plus CPU and RDNA 2 GPU cores. AMD launched a total of 13 new laptop APUs featuring support for the latest interconnectivity and also delivered a lot of performance while being super efficient at it. The lineup will be shipping in various laptops in February of 2022, so that's not that long of a wait. Talking about CPUs, AMD also unveiled two new desktop launches for 2022. The Ryzen 3D V Cache chip, known as Ryzen 7 58X 3D, with up to 8 Zen 3 cores and 96 megabytes of L3 cache, which is coming to AM4 desktops in spring 2022. But the biggest CPU update comes later this year in the form of Zen 4. The Ryzen AMD 7000 series was made officially for the AM5 socket platform with PCIe Gen 5 and DDR5 support. A prototype was shown running at 5 GHz across all cores and running Halo Infinite. AMD didn't stop at just Ryzen. The Radeon team also delivered a whole slew of updates in the form of 6 nanometer and 7 nanometer RDNA 2 GPUs. The AMD Radeon RX 65 XT for $199 US and the RX 6400 for $149 US will serve as entry level masses on the desktop side while the Radeon RX 6000M XT and the RX 6000S GPUs will handle the mobility space. The Radeon team also announced new Radeon software updates in the form of Radeon Super Resolution solution technology and a host of AMD Advantage features such as SmartShift Max, SmartShift Max Eco, and Smart Access Graphics. Now on to the second one, NVIDIA. NVIDIA went all out with its GeForce RTX announcement starting with the entry level GeForce RTX 3050 for $249 US and the flagship GeForce RTX 3090 Ti graphics card will feature an ampere architecture enhanced for the ultra enthusiasts out there. The green team also upgraded its laptop offerings with the launch of two new GeForce RTX 30 Ti series GPUs, the RTX 3080 Ti and the RTX 3070 Ti. Both of these designs take an upfront seat in high-end laptops and in various notebooks. The new laptops will be featuring the fourth generation of Max-Q technologies to offer the best of the best graphics performance within these laptop designs. NVIDIA also announced a range of new DLSS and RTX games, adding 10 more to its RTX suite and 7 new NVIDIA Reflex titles. Now on to the last of the big three, Intel. After a major comeback in the desktop department, Intel flexed its muscles even further on the laptop side of things. Alder Lake mobility CPUs were introduced in a ton of designs in both high-end Alder Lake P and entry-level Alder Lake M models. Aside from that, Intel also unleashed its non-K 12th generation CPU models for the desktop platform along with more mainstream 600 series chipsets such as the B660 and the H670. A surprise reveal this year was the Intel Core i9-12900KS, a 16 core chip that can boost up to 5.5 GHz and 5.2 GHz with all cores enabled. Now that is seriously impressive. Lastly, Intel also provided an update on its Arc Alchemist GPU family, which will be coming in quarter one of 2022. The company revealed that its XESS AI up sampling technology was coming to several AAA games, including Death Stranding Director's Cut. But what do you think? Is CES showing off some exciting technology this year? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.